Good morning, guys. Dylan Hodrick with D Hot Fitness. Checking in. Um, I'm going to do a morning weigh in for you guys. I've had two low weigh ins two days in a row. I think I'm going to take the day off though because I haven't really progressed with my lower back today. And since I've hit most of my muscle groups within the last two days, I think this would be a good day to take the day off. So let's go get that weigh in. So with this scale, first thing I do is I make sure it's on my profile since it's based on my height. Set to zero. Step on it, we'll put this down real quick. It's a new low weight by a lot. Wow. 175.8. So after that low weigh in, I think I'm going to do a uh, full day eating because I haven't done that on this channel. So kind of see what I eat day to day. Um, yeah, do flexible dieting, but it is mostly clean. It's not completely clean. Like my dessert, y'all gonna want this. So. Make sure you stay tuned for the dessert. But to start, I do intermittent fasting, so I'm just gonna have some water, some BCAAs right now, up until about noon. I'll take three of these pills. 7.5 milligrams of Yohembine. If you don't know what Yohembine is, it is a fat burning compound. It's a stimulant that can help increase fat burning, I guess. I don't necessarily recommend it, as I've said before, and same with this. It has 95% forskolene. I wouldn't call it a fat burner, but it can help suppress appetite and also um, increase camp levels. I track these. This does have fat in it. It has one gram of fat per pill. Even BCAAs. I log the BCAAs as protein. Just be consistent with it. If you don't log it, Never log it, never track it, but if you log it as protein, go ahead and always log it. Now, I highly recommend this. Um, first thing you do after you pee and weigh yourself, drink two glasses of water in the morning. Your body will thank you for it. It will love you for it. Um, and it helps you just get off and you feel better. You're dehydrated after a night of sleep. easy so my macros for today are 205 grams of protein 215 grams of carbs and 50 grams of fat eating that many calories doing cardio five times a week that allows me to lose one an average of one to one and a half pounds a week I only need that many calories because I don't burn a lot of calories throughout the day um, I don't have a very demanding job or I don't do a lot of activities that give me a high NEAT. NEAT is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So I don't need to have that a lot of calories uh, because I don't burn that many. So by just doing my 30 minutes of cardio five times a week and eating this many calories, I should hit my macros and my weight loss goals. And the way I adjust my macros or I adjust cardio is if I stall um, then I drop my carbs by about 15 grams, 10 to 15 grams and see how that goes. Or I'll increase cardio by about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. So that's how I adjust when I plateau in my weight loss. So guys, all right, here at Safeway, got to pick up some groceries to finish out this full day of eating real quick. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I get. So it's about two o'clock and I feel like I'm about to die. I haven't eaten anything yet because of work. I've been in meetings all day. Um, for intermittent fasting, I know a lot of people wonder what intermittent fasting is. I like intermittent fasting because I can eat larger meals. I rather have bigger meals and less amount like a frequency. I normally intermittent fast till about noon. I stop eating around 10 at night and go till noon. So I don't do that. I'm not that into it. I just like eating bigger lunches, bigger dinners and stuff like that. Yeah, but guys, intermittent fasting isn't some magic formula. It doesn't magically make you lose body fat. What happens is by you eating less calories, 
throughout the day, you're going to lose that body fat. And so if you have less time to eat those calories, you're going to be in that deficit. You're going to lose the body fat. I, I like doing it. I can go out. I can skip breakfast. I don't, I'm not that hungry in the morning. So that's why I do it. And then I could have a big lunch and a big dinner. But if you're someone who needs like breakfast and you'd rather have like small breakfast, like some people like six meals in a day. So do what works for you. I am doing 125 grams of broccoli, four ounces of rice. And I'm doing eight ounces of this chicken. So I'm someone who's all about convenience and I hate prepping chicken and skinning it and cooking it. So I'm someone who just likes to buy the pre-cooked chicken. I pop it in the microwave and I'm done. Might have more sodium, but as long as you eat consistent amount of sodium, the same amount every day is not really gonna affect you. And yeah, I think it tastes good, just as good. And it's a lot easier to make and prepare. You could also put it with uh, sauce and stuff. Like what I add to everything, especially when I'm cutting, sriracha, it's magic, and then I also like to add half a serving of this Panda Express orange chicken sauce. 18 carbs per serving. I only do half a serving of it. It's definitely worth it for taste. And then I also add seasoning. Today I will add this chili lime seasoning. See how it tastes. Um, and I'll put the macros on the screen for the whole meal. That's going to be lunch. Yeah, my lunch is super easy. Um, plop it in the microwave for three minutes. That's all I do. And it's super easy to make. I have it. Mainly I have that for lunch every day while I'm prepping. And I'm also gonna chug two more glasses of water. Gotta stay hydrated. Since this has zero calories, this is like the only thing I don't weigh out, so I just go however much I want. And it makes it taste that much better. Boom. Voila. All right guys, time for my next meal. Probably my second favorite meal. I have four meals, all right? So I have four main meals that make up my 2,150 calories. This is probably my second favorite of them. It's kind of my snack meal. Normally, um, I take this as a pre-workout snack before the gym. So it's 6.36, so pretty hungry right now. And it's gonna be that acai smoothie that you saw me pick up at Safeway. Also be having this a scoop and a half of it this by far is the best tasting protein out there hands down I am NOT affiliated with ghost that protein it tastes literally like you ate a bowl of tricks and then the milk left over with water but if you like tricks spot on Time for dinner, starving. Um, this is what I do for dinner, pretty much similar to lunch. So normally I do the sweet potato version of these, um, but Safeway was out. So I separate this into two servings, so I'll put half of this container in Tupperware and have it tomorrow. Obviously the sweet potato has more vitamin A. Sweet potatoes only have one gram of fat. 
but it has 21 carbs per serving or something like that. So same protein, same fiber. Then I use a meal prep service. Um, this is six ounces of tri-tip. It's all about convenience. So boom. Boom. Three minutes. Normally, I'll have a Powerade Zero for dinner, but since I didn't have my BCAAs because I didn't train today, I'm going to have some BC, a scoop of BCAAs for my drink tonight. Now that we're here, take five grams of protein. Take it every day, no matter what the time, just take it. Pro tip for you guys real quick. So potatoes, you get a lot more volume. So if you're cutting, definitely opt for potatoes as a carb source over rice. Um, either sweet potatoes or regular potatoes, like I'm having now, especially in the mashed version. So I'm getting a lot of volume for my food. So I'm helping me stay fuller um, instead of having like rice. So like if you weigh out four ounces of potatoes, it's gonna be a lot more than four ounces of rice. Boom, here you have it. It takes about five minutes to prepare, if that. I'm gonna add some zero calorie butter spray, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and the sugar-free barbecue sauce that has two carbs. It'll put the macros on the screen, right there. Time for my last meal of the day. The one I'm most excited for. This is major key alert. If you got a sweet tooth, if you got a sweet tooth at all, this is for you. I live by like the 80-20 rule. 80% of my food comes from like clean whole food and then the 20% of snacks. This is one of those snacks. So I'm sure many of you know about this Halo Top. Let me show you this, this secret. It's called a butter. So it's nine grams of fat. So yeah, it's high in fat, but I need fat in my diet. So nine grams of fat, five carbs, 14 grams of protein. It's mostly cashews and almond and then whey protein. And then there's like um, erythrol and all this other stuff in it that might not be as good for you, but sugar-free, tastes amazing the best dessert so what you do is you see this cap here you place one serving in the microwave for 35 seconds that's what i do and it comes out like a little muffin it tastes amazing i do two servings of this and two servings of the halo top so i'll show you what the final meal looks like also one thing i do i eat with a little or spoon eat with a little spoon it makes the food last longer Looks like this inside. You see, I've been doing work. So gooey. So it looks like this. Once you get done evening it out, so just put it in the little jar like that. Put it in the microwave, like so. 35 seconds. The whole thing has 320 calories. Um, I have half of it, so split it up into two different servings. So I'm looking at 10 grams of protein, 32 carbs, and five grams of fat. So this is what the final meal looks like. It is delicious, trust me. So give this a shot, G butter with Halo Top macros. We put on the screen, and yeah. What you gotta do is take a little sliver of this, take some Halo Top, just like so, open up. Open your mouth. Come to daddy. Bruh. <laughs> I'm actually gonna conclude this full day of eating here. I'll put the total macros for the day right there. So you can see the total of my goals. So yeah, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching this one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.